so yeah, this thing just went flying by. You're not quite sure what it is. It's funny. It's got one wheel. Riding it like a skateboard or a snowboard. But you have no clue what it is. I'll show you what it is. I'll show you why you need one. Because things are just pretty dang awesome. So what the heck is this muddy thing I just rolled up on, huh? Well, first off, let me show you a few things here. Let's get my Brad hairdo down. You guys like that, huh? Well, this is a muddy model because it's an Adventure Brad rated edition. Um, <laughs> first off, it's electric. Um, with me on it, 20, 22 miles on it, no problem, dirt chewing around, all that sort of thing. It'll go about 20 miles an hour. Get asked of both those questions, top two questions, normally back to back. Uh, no, I did not make it. You could buy these, put a linky down here. But uh, these things are awesome. Uh, there's a couple different models out. There's the pint, well, it's not out yet as of this video, but it should be out shortly. And then there's the XR. This is the extended range um, edition. I really like it. Um, it's just awesome as heck. It's bulletproof. Uh, one thing I highly recommend though, is you get one of the fenders from Future Motion because they're like, they're strong. It's not this little stupid fender. But the overall, the thing is like, like you don't worry about it. It's awesome. I love my hand. I get the heck out of it. Um, there's two parts to it really. Well, three parts. It's uh, down here in the bottom, there's a control board. Uh, that controls the lights, the LED. See, it's going in reverse mode. Think about ready to go in reverse. But if you flip it around, it... no, oh, no, oh, I just woke it up. See, that's forward mode. The second part here, it's the battery. I'm going to turn this off before it hurts me. So I'll show you that here. Here's a switch, on and off switch. This side here is power side, and this is the chargey side. Um, so I said, I said battery, the BMS, and control the brains of it all here. This thing's Bluetooth. There's an app. All right, one wheel lap in just a quick moment. You select on your board here. At the top, it gives you your total voltage. Magic switch, turn your lights on and off. I leave mine on all the time. Total trip miles since you turn the board on. Total miles on the board. And uh, shaping down here at the bottom. Sequoia, it's mode you're supposed to start out on. I don't recommend it because it gives pushback at like 12 miles an hour. If you don't recognize it, you get yourself in trouble. Same thing, cruise. Um, it's... a uh, yeah, it's kind of lame. I don't cruise and cruise. Mission used to be one of my favorite modes. It's supposed to be super efficient. It's not really aggressive. It's just a nice handling mode. Excellent mode to start out in beginners. Pretty much the only reason I ever switch back to mission anymore. Elevated keeps the nose up more um, when you're riding so it doesn't want to you know, drag on hills and off-road environment and stuff. I don't like it because it makes the board too aggressive. Um, yeah, it's just it, it, like a little bit of movement goes a long way and elevated. My favorite mode is delirium. A lot of people share the love for the delirium too. It's you, it's real carby, it's fluid, it's active. The board responds when you want it, but it's not like throw you off of it responsive. Love delirium. Future Motion has now come out with custom shaping. And then custom shaping, you can change its carvability, your stance profile, the aggressiveness, you can name it. You can also share... Uh, other stances and uh, uh, your, your custom shaping with others in the community. One Wheel has built a great community. There's ways of the rides to find other rides that people have posted. You can find other riders and so on. This video is not about that, so we're not going to go into that here. But yeah, it's the app is quite handy. It's quite useful. But bleh, let's get back to the main video. Super duper magnesium cobalt, you know, sort of yada of everything coolness battery that's in there. Um, the next cool thing about this thing and the key to it all besides the brains that are uh, up here that do all the sensing, there's accelerometers and gyroscopes in it that tell you the attitude of the board. Um, but then there's these two front pad, foot pad sensors that tell the board that you're on it and want to ride because it doesn't know right now if there's somebody on it or not. So that's what turns it on. The whole magic to this board is there's a 750 watt um, motor. It's a, a motor and hub unit. You can get to it through inside of this panel. Uh, it's a custom made hub that's done with a 750 watt motor in it. 
and it's just a regular old go-kart tire. Uh, these come with a little different tire on them when you get them. It's the Vega tire is a very square tire. I like to call it Flintstone tire. It's great, totally awesome beginner tire. Uh, but as you get better at these things, you'll like the, the more rounded profile of the aftermarket tires. This is the Burris, um, because everyone's gonna ask, so I might as well tell you, it's the Burris tire. I ran Burris back in a row go-kart, so I gotta get mud off of here. Um, 11 by six by six. But yeah, so I put this tire on it. Everybody that rides, that rode one of these one wells for a while, jumps on my tire and rides it. Uh, but anyways, uh, that's not stock. This handle's not stock. Um, GoPro mount's not stock. But the fender's a must. Uh, some people don't roll without a fender. I do like, they look better, I think, without the fender. More of that Marty McFly to them. But you gotta have the fender, right? You know, I was just shooting some background video for this and I found a mud puddle and, you know, I'm in flip-flops and I survived, so it's it's pretty dang nice. But yeah, so just to recap on the thing, it is electric. You can buy it 20 miles, 20 miles per hour, and it's dang awesome. I use the heck out of the thing for, well, one, I make excuses to ride it. Um, <laughs> it's just, it's fun. It's ultra carby. Um, it, it, yeah, I, I ride it to the liquor store just to get a sweet tea. Um, I ride it to get lunch occasionally. Um, I just ride it for the point of riding it. I rode it down to make this video. I use it to haul my paramotor around, which is, you know, kind of dumb and stupid. Both the paramotor and hauling the one wheel around with it. Or hauling the paramotor with the one wheel. Um, because you just look like this whole hat trick going on. But it is, like, the most carvy, smoothest feeling out of it all. And that's one point I like to make is, uh, this is not something that you buy for top speed. If you want to go top speed, so like honestly, it goes 20 miles an hour. I think if you look at my logs, my top speed is like 12 or 14. Um, I don't, this is not something meant to go fast. It's meant to go carvy. Uh, it's naturally unbalanced. Uh, so it, it just likes to smooth and carve. And when you really like start leaning and towing, and I'm no snowboarder or skateboarder or anything like that. Uh, but you really have fun when you start to, you know, lean it around, roll and stuff, grass, dirt roads, all that sort of thing. It's awesome. Um, if you're a camper, dude, this thing's a must for running around campgrounds. It does way better than you think it would off-road. Um, the off-road tire doesn't really do anything for traction. Um, it gives more carvy and it's cool looking. But uh, if you want to go off-road, just air it down, just like you would a car and a truck, air the thing down. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's so cool because it's compact, you know, I, most of the time it sits on the front floorboard of my truck. I can grab it out real quick, you know, helmet on the head and I'm gone. Um, go slow, respect it, tuck and roll, you, you know, don't go any faster than you'd want to jump off a tailgate of a truck going down the road. Think about it, people, like, I, I don't understand people wanting to set land speed records on a one wheel. It's, it's not for that. It's, uh, it's beautiful, it's graceful, it's a heck of a lot of fun. But you guys really need to go think about getting one. Like I said, I'll share some links down there. Um, you might even have a buddy that has one already. Get on it, try it. Um, do take your time when you're first getting to learn one. If you have confidence in electronics, it's amazing how well the thing does. But if you sit there and think about it, you can just weeble and wobble and then you fall off. So anyways, Adventure Brad here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I want to see you out there riding and just enjoying life. Mr. Brad here, welcome to our channel. It's my channel. Check it out. I would like you guys to subscribe. That means you're going to get more content, more videos to your way. But again, if you don't subscribe, you don't subscribe. Uh, I just want to show you what works for me, what I like, what I enjoy, and the adventures that I'm on. It's always neat, the cool spots that I go to. The, uh, you never know the people that you'll find on the road or like what you'll get into. Uh, kind of show up and you're just like, oh, look what's right there. So I kind of hope you guys come along for the ride and check it out.